We're living in a world where everything is becoming so digitized and machine driven. So for us, it's really important to maintain a craft level, I think. Everything is becoming done faster, done quicker. And it's a really slow process cutting stencils. There's no fast way to do it if you're doing it by hand. You can't, you can't physically do it quickly. So in that, there's a sort of beauty, I think. It takes a long time, so you have to commit to it and you have to put your effort in. We're very lucky that we have a lot of things in common and then we have a lot of things not in common. And I think that blended together works. I think even a formula coming here has changed completely. We've done everything different to how we normally do. It's, it's helpful having two people, I think. Uh, it makes it a little bit more company. You have a little bit more back and forth. You know, you have arguments, but you have decisions. Uh, I think, I think discussions. it's... Discussions. Discussions. <laughs> arguments. Um, but it's, it's good to have constructive criticism amongst each other. You know, two different opinions matters, I think, when you're painting. Yeah, it makes you stop being comfortable with what we're doing and accepting that something's done, because then someone else will go, you know, we can do something a little bit more, we can try something a little bit different. With this scene, you gravitate towards people that have either similar personalities or work styles that you get very excited about. And I think that for us, that was with Nuno. It was personality and his work. We always have to, much like how we have our working bond, we like to have that bond with people we work with too. Yeah, Nuno's a very close friend of ours. Um, fantastic artist as well. So working alongside him again is just always a great thing. We, we have a really good understanding of each other's art practices. So we know what each other's strengths are. We know how to have conversations together about what we're gonna paint. And it's always very open to working together. There's never any difficulty in trying to get a process. A reason why we stick to handicraft is because of the demand. You know, so many people go to laser cutting, etc., because there was a high demand. And I think what happened with street art was the demand went up and then it went commercially as well. So then there was this weird combination of commercial street art, advertising street art, then mixed with the raw street art. And I think that's where it's got a little bit lost. I think it needs to find its own identity again. Yeah, I think that, that's probably the best way to put it. It's, <laughs> um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's been an amazing experience to be invited by LAC to come and paint for the residency. It's just, it's got such a prestigious history as well. You know, it's so many art, so, so many of our favorite artists have been here and done this event. Um, so to be invited out to such a beautiful country by such a welcoming community of people that, that are here, you know, it's such an amazing thing that they have here in, in, in the support network and the engagement and just the general family feeling of the whole thing is just beautiful. It's been a whirlwind. I can't believe it's been two weeks. It's gone so fast. And the joy is anything we've gone, we might like to do that. Lack has just gone, cool, yeah, let's do it. Let's talk about it. Let's get it going. Um, and it's enabled us to grow. We've tried different things as well, which I was very, in my, very much in my head, it was important to try different things as a residency and to you know, try different approaches 
do things and get out of our comfort zone a little bit, which we have. And um, it's, it's been a perfect residency with LAC. It really has. It's, it's been such a great experience. And it's something I'd recommend to anybody to do, not just LAC, but in general, like, like artist residencies are such a great element for you, for you artistically to, to progress. Food shows you a community and a culture, and it shows you love and care in a community and culture. Um, it's a great way to get to know people. You know, the, the, we've been having these great meals, and you talk about how it's from a local. You know, this is a grandmother's recipe. This is from a local place. This is representative of this area. It's for me a really great way to understand a place and a culture is to eat the food. I think we are absorbed by our art and what we do because it's our passion and one of the ways we do like switch off at home is cooking and we do that we get our friends over we get our family over so it, it this when we ate together was like our wind down and it was important I mean, we're completely knackered. You know, I'm fucking tired, but, but it's been brilliant. It's, it's been one of the best experiences of my career, personally. It's not our last time in Portugal. <laughs> Lagos has a lot of good karaoke bars, apparently. So it seems. So, sky's the limit in this town. If you come out to Portugal, be careful of the Madronio. That shit, that, <laughs> that shit will fuck you up. <laughs> that's it, that's it.